Good morning, YouTube friends. Welcome to today's video and welcome back to my kitchen. I want to address something super quick. Behind me, there's a mess. We got here and here. It's a disaster. Ruben and I are currently in the process of moving apartments, so please bear with me with the disaster in the apartment. It is a special day. Today, for the time that I'm uploading this, it's Father's Day. So this video is dedicated to my dad. Happy Father's Day, dad. I'm sorry I can't be there with you guys because I'm here in Florida and they're in Puerto Rico. But for today, kind of like I did it for Mother's Day, I made this berry braided bread because my, my mom's favorite Disney film is Tangled. So I was already looking up recipes to make something Star Wars themed for Father's Day because I thought that was my dad's favorite Disney film because he's obsessed with Star Wars and apparently it's not came as a surprise to me and my sister but he basically said that his favorite film is Lion King so for today we're going to be doing this cute little log let me retrace some steps so I found a recipe where they I think it's like little Debbie or something they have these little chocolate logs and then they put gummy worms on top so we're gonna step it up a notch I found this recipe by the queen herself, Betty Crocker, and we're gonna be making this chocolate peanut butter log because my dad and I love chocolate and peanut butter. It's the best thing ever. So I'm super excited to make it and then we're gonna put gummy worms at top. It's kind of to resemble a scene in the Lion King film where there's like a log, they pull it up and then there's a lot of worms and like insects and bugs under there and they eat it and it's like slimy yet satisfying. So that's what we're channeling today. I have a little tropical shirt to get in the mood. So yeah, I'm super excited. I hope this is a success because when I made it for Mother's Day, the berry braided bread, my family has recreated twice already at home because they love it so much. And they've been doing their own little spins on it trying to make it ready for the holiday season. So I'm super excited to show you guys that. Again, dedicated to my dad. I love you so much. I hope you're having an amazing Father's Day. I can't wait to see you guys soon. And I don't know, I'm excited to try this out because I also love chocolate and peanut butter. So without further ado, let's get into the video. 20 minutes later. So I just noticed I wasn't filming anything about what I was cooking for the cake. So miraculously, I got these clips that are very short because I was going to send them to my sister. Um, <laughs> I'm a little upset. The cake is finishing baking right now. The oven's gonna go off in 29 seconds. So I'm gonna show you really short clips of what was happening and how we were making the cake. And I will pause it and make a longer voiceover to explain what I did. Uh, yeah. Cake's ready. So what you've missed so far is I added all the ingredients for the cake, which was one box of Betty Crocker Super Moist Milk Chocolate Cake Mix, half a cup of water, one fourth cup of canola oil, and six eggs. Mix all these ingredients in your medium bowl with an electric mixer on medium speed until well blended. And once you're done with that, you're going to grab a 15 times 10 times 1 inch pan, you're going to put cooking spray on it. And then you're going to add a parchment paper on top of that, spray that paper as well, and that's where all this mixture is going to go on top of. Then place the mixture in the oven to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. Now it's going to get a little bit interesting for me. So the recipe says to place a clean dish towel on the work surface and sprinkle with 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar, which I did. The thing is that all my dish towels are super tiny squares, which was not going to be enough for the cake. So I used this, um, I think I say it later in the video, I don't remember now, but basically it's a towel from a gym we used to go to that we obviously have washed it multiple times at home and we used it for showers, so this is clean. So I decided to use it because it's white, it's not important, I'm probably going to throw it out later. So you take out your cake mixture, you're supposed to flop it on there and you're about to see me just throw that on there. And with the towel, you're supposed to roll it into a log form, but I struggled and you're about to see that. And if you're able to roll the log on like me, you're supposed to leave it in the towel and let it cool for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we get to work on the fun stuff, the buttercream. So we're going to add one cup. It says crunchy peanut butter, but I did smooth because I like smooth peanut butter more. One cup of softened butter. Three fourth cups of powdered sugar. 
one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of whipping cream, and half a cup of the miniature recessed peanut butter cups. Mix all the ingredients with an electric mixer and then set aside. Now we're going to work on the ganache, which is basically one cup of whipping cream, and two cups or basically one bag of milk chocolate chips. In this case, I did dark chocolate. By this time, the house is smelling amazing because now you're just going to put this in a two-quart saucepan and you're going to heat the chocolate chips and the cream over medium heat until the chocolate is melted and it's going to look amazing and then you're just going to let it cool for 10 minutes. And now is the moment of truth where you unroll your cake and you see, if you're anything like me, how it broke basically and did not roll very well. So if anybody's good at rolling cake, please let me know how, what did I do wrong? How do you do this? Regardless of how the cake broke and it represented how my heart was breaking on the inside, I decided to continue and I just poured the buttercream that we made, the peanut butter one in the beginning, and just put it all in the inside of this cake. I'm not even going to call it a log because it's not a log. I'm just going to call it a cake. You're just going to spread it around town all inside. And as if we hadn't faced enough challenges already, now you have to attempt to roll that log or the cake into the log form. And I feel like it was even harder because with the peanut butter, buttercream thing on the inside, it was super thick, super heavy. Look at me, look at my hands. I could barely even lift it to take it over to the plate. So I basically gave up. I made that little sandwich to the right and then that looked the most as a log. I'm panicking. Do you see my, do you read my body language there? I'm just trying to get that cake over on that plate and man, was it hard. But a review will come soon. There's still a way to save this cake and it's because now we have to pour the ganache over the roll and it kind of hides the ugliness underneath it so you can kind of mask your mistakes you can still tell it's a little bit not like a log but you can just keep decorating it so i added some pieces of the recess miniature peanut butter cups i chopped them up i put them at the top and i'm also gonna add as you'll see in a couple seconds the gummy worms. No, I did not eat the cake with the gummy worms because I don't know how that would taste and I was not up for that adventure. But it also helps to hide any mistakes that you made and it makes it look cute like the log from the Lankin movie. What's that? A grub. What's it look like? Ew, gross. Mm. Tastes like chicken. Slimy yet satisfying. These are rare delicacies. Mm. This is the final result and we need to talk about some things so i put the worms up top to like i already talked about it the slimy yet satisfying and it's supposed to be like a chocolate log a peanut butter chocolate log from the side wouldn't know anything it was hard it was hard i struggled i think you saw it on camera i struggled to like bend it around and it just broke so betty crocker what did i do wrong let me know but i want to taste it anyways because i'm excited mm -hmm. i didn't get any peanut butter in that one so going back in definitely got peanut butter in this one mm -hmm. man that like i said <clears throat> Me and my dad are total suckers for peanut butter and chocolate. And I swear, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait a second. I'm like, no, I can't call him yet because this is a surprise. Now that you're seeing this, dad, I swear the peanut butter mixture combined with the ganache on top and the. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. I don't know if anybody else has tried this, so maybe we're the only ones that know about this. The Boardwalk Bakery at the Boardwalk has this peanut butter chocolate cake that we've been obsessed with for years and they've like changed it up here and there. There was a while that it was, they made it to totally different and we didn't like it at all. Now it's a little bit closer to the original, but oh my God, the, I don't know what it is, but the peanut butter, mm, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even form sentences. It literally tastes like that cake. Oh my God, I need to take another bite, excuse me. Also, the chocolate, ganache thing that we put on top it tastes also like this costco chocolate cake that i love getting for my birthday so if anybody eats costco chocolate cake kind of also tastes like it too mm, 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 mm. all around the cake is really 
fluffy and yummy. The chocolate ganache, delicious. The peanut butter cream thing in the middle, mm, takes the cake. It is amazing. Definitely need to, definitely need to practice on my rolling skills. I have no idea what that was. I wish maybe I should have looked at videos beforehand because I thought it was gonna be easier, and it wasn't. So definitely gonna try this recipe again. Hopefully, I can perfect the roll and actually make it look like a log because I feel like it would look so pretty on top of tasting wonderful because this tastes amazing. It just I had to drown it in chocolate in order so you couldn't see the disaster I made when I rolled it. So honestly, I have no idea how many times. This is a four out of four happy dances. This is so good. If you love peanut butter and chocolate, this is for you. If you don't, give me that. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in today's emotional roller coaster. Not only did I forget to record in the beginning, not over that yet and the log was not rolled totally beautifully so thanks for joining me today while i had a couple mental breakdowns but uh happy father's day to all the dads out there everybody in my family that's a dad especially my dad i love you so so much i can't wait to see you soon and yeah thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next one bye